Hey guys, uh, welcome to this episode of Fresh Word. We're going to uh, go with the question and the flow of why is outreach important for the church? And you think about it because I think, I want to start off with that by saying, I think a balance is needed. You just can't be all outreach without having inreach. I remember years ago we had a uh, meeting and we were, you know, we're still a small church, but a smaller church. And we were looking at ways to outreach, and one of the brothers came up in the meeting, and he was fairly new at the time. And he asked me, he said, Pastor Al, what about the inreach? And it really struck a chord in me. And he said, you know, what about the inreach? What are we doing for the people that come? And I'm always thinking we're, we're helping them, we're, you know, feeding them, we're fellowshipping with them. But it really, it really hit my heart really hard, and I got to think of that. So we have to really make sure that we're taking care of what's here. Feeding the sheep, equipping them for the work of the ministry. And then, you know, making sure we're having that fellowship time. So that's first and foremost. And so that balance is needed. You can't just be outreach without having inreach, without the proper feeding as well. And I think of this, healthy sheep beget healthy sheep. That's what Pastor Chuck used to say. So you're watching people grow up in the Lord, and they want to bring other sheep. They want to, you know, be uh, used in the in God's purpose of uh, the harvest is right, but the laborers are few. And they're like, I want to be involved in this. So they want to get involved in some type of outreach. But remember this, because it's important. Outreach is, is first to begin in our Jerusalem, where Jesus said, "You're going to be a witness, His witness, beginning in Jerusalem." And I think that starts within our own church and our own city within our own families, that we're really sharing the gospel and sharing the message of Jesus Christ and the goodness of God with those in our city. I think of, you know, just uh, being a salt, being salt and light into the world that we live in and allowing people to see our works so that our Father in heaven may be glorified. And so being that, that witness of Jesus's, that we belong to him, You know, he's purchased our lives beginning in Jerusalem. And if you're not doing Jerusalem well, I mean, going to Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world with the message or with the the mission trips, it's kind of hard to fathom. I think it starts here in Jerusalem. And once we do Jerusalem well, then we'll go out into Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world. So, you know, I think part of the thing is, it's best to feed the saints uh, too so that you can endure the outreach. And that's, outreach is a mission trip. And, you know, whether it's here locally, we consider our outreaches here as mission trips. And we just finished one a couple of weeks ago that was at, during the Go Forth event. We had over, you know, 60 people a day serving at the Go Forth outreach, which we consider a mission trip. I think it's wonderful bringing and sharing the light of Christ into the city that we live in. But if you're not teaching them the word of God and equipping them for the work of the ministry, then they're not going to be able to endure the outreach because with outreach, oftentimes come trouble, you know, or or attacks. We're going through Nehemiah on Saturdays at our men's breakfasts, and you're seeing that there's opposition from the outside, there's opposition from the inside, there's opposition all over. But we have to stay the course. We have to... um, you know, make sure that we're, our eyes are fixed upon Jesus, keeping the main thing the main thing. And so you feed the saints so they're able to endure. They're going to, uh, you know, like they might have said in the 80s, God's gym, the Lord's gym, coming in here and being, you know, bench pressing the word of God in their lives, getting stronger in their faith. But outreach locally, again, is a mission trip that I think a lot of places, a lot of churches may uh, leapfrog and they'll go to the uttermost parts of the world without realizing we got a mission field right in front of us. And so we want to do outreach here as well as New Mexico or Mexico or Haiti or Africa. We want to be involved in what God has us be involved in. But right here, we got a lot to keep us busy. And I think it's wonderful to outreach in our own city. So why is outreach important? Oh, I think it's very important. I think it's uh, uh, definitely Uh, brings the body together, and it allows them to reach out to those in need. So, yes, outreach, do it, get involved, 
get it started, and maintain it as the Lord would lead you. God bless you guys. Hey guys, Pastor Al here, Calvary Chapel with Fresh Word. You know, oftentimes we have a question to ask, but we don't know where to go, what to do. Would I be a fool for asking it, whatever. I wanna encourage you in the comments below, write your question and we will get you an answer, Lord willing. God bless you guys.